but I always thought it was very important for me to go to community college, be ready and have the foundation in place to be able to come into an institution such as this, uh, knowing that um, I have what I need in, my, in, in myself to uh, succeed here. I received my Associate of Arts and Associate of Science from Bluegrass Community and Technical College this past May. I completed four semesters there. Um, I took, I was taking full time, I was taking 12 hours, uh, but to me a priority was to always be home in time for my children. So even if it meant stretching out my education for another semester or two, that was always a priority for me. Geography has always been a discipline that has always been very interesting to me. Not being, a, a, even though I was born in the United States, I see myself as a Mexican. And one of the things that has always bothered me is that other people don't. Even fellow Mexicans or fellow Hispanics do not see me as Mexican. When they hear me speak Spanish, they do a double take because they're just not, they don't see that. And I know that part of that is because I was raised for so many years here. But I know that when I go home, I don't speak a word of English for a month at a time because it's just something that I can seamlessly go back and forth into. And that diverse culture, that upbringing has always fascinated me through the different cultures, not just that have emigrated into this country, but throughout the world. So that's what started it. Um, and beyond that, it's just knowing what it is that makes people who they are overseas or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Um, it's just always been a big fascination of mine. I would, I would love to be a GIS analyst. I think that's something that I would like to be able to do and to um, to pursue that, just pour over maps, be able to to find things that, that people, or, or think of aspects of being able to view data in ways that haven't been considered before. I think that's where I see myself going. And when I do feel comfortable and if the opportunity would arise, I would consider teaching. I had the basis to be able to be successful, but I always felt that having an education as part of my resume was was important for my future. I knew that with the industry, especially technology moving as fast as it is, and, and especially with the field that I want to pursue, I knew that an education was going to be important, not just to be able to do the work that was on the market at that point, but to be able to be prepared to go on and, and be able to pursue my, my career goal and being able to keep on top of the technology. And I knew that I needed the fundamentals that only a formal education could provide. I was very thrilled with the entire faculty and staff at, at Bluegrass Community and Technical College because they're not just interested in them, they themselves helping students, but they were interested in the students' lives and always accommodated any issues that a student might have. I mean, they were very approachable. Um, they have a excellent staff out there, like I said, and they were always ready to help to be able to, if you needed extra time, if you needed whatever, they always were very helpful. Um, and I just fell right into line. Um, I, was, I served as president of our school's uh, honor society. So I was able to take part in a lot of community service projects and I was able to gain benefits that, and scholarships through that organization that I know I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. Another important thing is to be able to have representatives at the community colleges ready to help students and not leave it up to the students. Not every student is is, is open and, and, and willing to get out there and ask the questions and having a person there for you ready to answer those questions will, I would think, can only help the, the, uh, the number of students that are transferring from a community college to a four-year institution. I don't plan to stop at just a bachelor's, I want to at least get a master's if not a doctorate. Um, I am very confident in, in knowing that I will continue to try my best to, to get to those goals. Um, it might not be in the traditional format, it might take me a little longer than I would desire, but like I said, I'm not willing to sacrifice my child's livelihood in order for myself to succeed. I know that regardless of what it is that I'm able to accomplish in life, my children's success is the only thing that's really going to validate what I did in my own life. We like it here. We know that it's important for us to stay here, to be able to remain in one place where our children succeed. And once they get to the point where they want to leave the home, the nest, then um, from then, you know, who knows? But as far as as far as the next 10, 15 years are concerned, very certain we'll probably be here.